and welcome to Church Tree School for Music and Arts vlog tour day number nine. It is October the 9th and today we have a very full schedule of classes, um, Tribeca Jazz Institute, ensemble rehearsals, meetings, um, just lots going on. So join me today as we go through our day. My name is Patrick, uh, Patrick Cow. I'm from Vancouver, Canada. I play guitar. <laughs> and uh, I'm a student here at uh, Tribeca Jazz Institute. I, uh, I came here mostly like because I wanted to study with my, my favorite musicians in the whole world and they just happened to be on faculty here for some reason. It's incredible and at a very discounted rate I, w I would say as well. I think the school does a very good job in uh, providing an opportunity for the students and uh, yeah, it's attracted me here. <laughs> So it's Chrissy. Um, I'm back because I, you know, some days I have to remind myself why I'm here. Um, I am a musician too. I create a safe space here at the school for people to learn about music and to find their own place artistically. And so for me, one of the things I incredibly enjoy about working at Church Street is that it also creates a safe space for me and my own musicianship. And so spending some time with my viola in between things um, just makes every day a little bit easier. So I figured I would show you a practice technique for anybody that might be interested. So what I tend to do is actually drone a piece, uh, like a note that is played over and over in the piece and actually play it with that specific note just to help recenter my pitch. And then I'll change the note to another note so that it helps me hear not just um, the, the melodic line, but it helps me hear harmonically where my notes and my pitches need to go because a viola like a violin is fretless. We don't have any guides. It's all based on muscle memory. So once I've worked through a few pitches, then what I do is I try to put it back all together much more musically. Okay, so here's your water. Here's the red. Hang on, stir it up. Okay, now pour it in, but not all of it, most of it. Put it in. We leave a little bit over here in the cup in case we need it. Now you know what the next part is. Yes, yeah, stick your fingers in there and mix it all up. So Teresa, hey, how's it going? Hi. How's it going? It's, you know, it's, it's rolling. Um, so tell me, Teresa, what is big on your list today? Uh, what are you working on? Oh boy, a lot of uh, emails from parents and students and faculty and this and that program related things. Oh, cool. So what I've been working on is actually gingerbread. So every single December we do gingerbread workshops. And if you didn't know, the person that makes our gingerbread houses actually makes them from scratch with her own secret recipe. She was the one of the founders of the school, um, Lori Bailey. And so we are so excited that she'll be back making gingerbread houses. So we may be showing you some things from her later this month. Thank <laughs> you. 